This is Antwerp, a city in Belgium. Some of you have been curious about my life here in this country. After all, it's a place which I often refer to as my second home, given that I previously had an amazing time living there for almost three years. I wasn't into recording videos yet when I was still there, but I'll try my best to give you some background as to why I was in Antwerp. I arrived in Belgium back in 2013 to take up a master's course in the University of Antwerp. My ex-family at that time offered to take me in for the first few months while I still don't have my own place yet. During that time, I had such an amazing time getting to know them. They were so sweet, and my ex-mom instantly became a second mother to me, if not my new best friend. You bet that we click so good, and if there's one interesting thing that you need to know about her, it's that she loves teddy bears. In fact, she has two rooms full of bears and she loves them a lot. However, before my first month ended, the online business that I was building together with my ex became so successful that it didn't make sense for me anymore to take up my masters. And so, I ended up not enrolling and I took on a different kind of visa. In no time, we got a wonderful apartment in Scotland, which was not too far from Antwerp. And well, that's when my life in Belgium began. Living in that country surely had its ups and downs. There were several adjustments that I had to make at first, not only in terms of language, but also in terms of weather and food among many others. Nevertheless, there sure were a lot of things that I loved. The bike culture. I enjoyed how I can go out with my bike without fearing intense traffic or pollution. There were also always proper bike lanes, as well as a lot of nature paths within the cities or towns that I can go through. The change of seasons. It's not always sunny in Belgium, but coming from a country who only has two seasons of being extremely wet or extremely hot, I then love being in a place that experiences autumn, winter, and spring. The food and snacks. Belgium is the land of chocolates, waffles, and beer. I don't drink nor do I like beer, which my Belgian friends are still in shock about. But I am all for their food. Fries, special currywurst, waffles, chocolates of different kinds, mussels, and so much more. To add, I think it was in Belgium that I slowly learned how to eat healthier meals. It's also where I discovered my love for cooking. The people. Welcome to Belgium, my it was hard at first when I didn't know the language yet, but there were still tons of Belgians who knew English, and I had a lot of fun meeting and conversing with them. Everyone was so friendly and warm, and not only did I learn a lot about them, but about myself too. There were also a lot of things that I loved. The efficient public transportation, the movie breaks in the cinemas, the free tour, the amazing nature, the close proximity of other European countries, and so much more. I can seriously go on and on about it, but basically, though Belgium had its quirks, there was so much about it that I still love. When my relationship ended with my ex, I went back home to the Philippines in 2016, but we still remain good friends up to today. In fact, I still maintain such a great relationship with his family. All in all, my stay in Belgium still feels like a dream to me, but I am so thankful that I had a chance to live there. And even if I get to live in another foreign country in the future, it will always remain to be a special place in my heart. Surely it's because it was my first, but for the most part, it's because of the great people that I met. Not to mention that it made me gain some sort of second family on the other side of the globe. So you bet that whenever I set foot back in Belgium, I always say this sentence. 